The new 3D object panner in Logic 10.7 is one of the main updates that allows spatial audio mixing of music possible. If you right click or control click on any of your surround panners, you can change this over to the 3D object panner. Now at first glance, this might just look like another way to do everything that you can already do in the surround panner, but these two panners are actually pretty different and they're used for different things. In Dolby Atmos mixing, the 3D object panner should be used for mix objects, whereas the surround panner should be used for beds. Objects are typically going to be musical elements that need to be more forward in your mix, like drums, bass, vocals, leads, anything like that. Beds are your more ambient, subdued elements in the mix. Things like synth pads, strings, effects, reverbs, etc. Now it's completely up to you how you treat different elements in your mix as an object or a bed. But there are some differences between these panners in terms of their routing and their functionality as well. Channels with the surround panner are routed to the master output and are processed by any plugins that you might have on the master, including the Dolby Atmos plugin. Whereas 3D object tracks are routed straight to the Dolby Atmos plugin. So any plugins you add to the master output before the Atmos plugin will not affect 3D objects. With the 3D object panner, you can position the track in the mix anywhere around your head by moving this little puck. And like the surround panner, you can also mimic elevation either at ear level or above your head. One of the big differences between the 3D object panner and the surround panner is that you can adjust the size of your 3D objects in the 3D object panner. This is absolutely amazing for enhancing the depth and intensity of an instrument or voice in the mix without adding any effects, just using the 3D object panner alone. For stereo objects, you'll see individual left and right objects that you can spread out or make more narrow, whereas mono objects just have a single puck that you can localize in the mix. 3D objects are also visualized in the Dolby Atmos plugin, so as you move the position of a 3D object or change its size, you'll see this reflected visually in the Atmos plugin. When monitoring in binaural and doing a binaural mix, every object and bed has a choice of four different settings, off, near, mid, and far. These settings create the illusion of increasing distance from the listening position by adding additional delay and other Dolby magic. This is only active when monitoring and rendering a binaural mix and doesn't affect the other surround settings. So that's the new 3D object panner in Logic Pro 10.7. In the next video, I'll show some of the plugins that have been updated for Dolby Atmos, and I'll show you how to export your spatial audio mixes.